Minister of Communications, Innovations and Digital Economy, Dr. Busun Tijani, says the digital economy sector is projected to generate up to 18.3 billion naira by 2026. The minister stated this at a press briefing on national digital economy and e-governance bill in Abuja. The event was organized by the Senate and House Committees on Information and Communication Technology. Nigeria is one of the top two destinations for capital foreign direct investment to technology in Africa. Stakeholders at the event said the e-governance bill was long overdue to properly and fully honor the potential of the sector in the country. You see under the, I think it's under the structure of the bill, the last thing under the structure for everyone that has a copy is digital literacy. So the goal is that both the ministry supported by the legal side, that as a country we can invest significantly in upskilling our people so that a lot of our people can be digitally literate. And by being so, it means that we can also then become a net exporter of technology talents. India has done it. Let us also encourage our youth to position themselves for the opportunity that this bill will create in terms of data protection officers, in terms of cyber security officers, even as the bill has made ample provisions for cyber security because the more automation you have, the higher the threats of uh, uh, cyber sec uh, security, cyber threat. Some people are scared of artificial intelligence and some of these emerging technologies. I see it, for Nigeria, I see this. It's huge opportunity. It's going to give us that leap. You remember when everybody was doing CDMA at one time before GSM came. GSM came and we took a leap into the future. Look at where we are today with GSM. There was even a point that we, have, we actually went beyond some of these other Western countries when it comes to GSM because majority of them were doing more of their research and implementation with the CDMA technology. When you promote the digital literacy, how do you ensure that government services go all the way to the last spectrum of those that actually require them? What are the rules of engagement? What do you need to do in order to ensure that you receive digital services from the government? How do you manage electronic records, for example? These are the things that the bill will also um, seek to address.